Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with our Deluxe Value Scrape Blade. This is basically the Value Scrape Blade that we first started out with. This is the version 2, and we've added some, some customer features for you. Uh, price of everything's going up, steel, paint, everything. So we've had to go up just a little bit on the price, but we've tried to add some extra value in here uh, with the extra options that we've put on here for you. To make it easier to hook up to your tractor, whether you're using a quick attach or not, we've added the quick, the kickstand here. And you can always adjust that with another hole if you need to to get the perfect angle uh, for your tractor if you're hooking it up for you with a three-point hitch. If you're using it with a quick attach, most of the time you want your implement to be perfectly level just like it is so that all your pins will be lined up. So the biggest thing that you that we try to get around or that you have to get around when you're making something a quick attach is that from your top link pin or where your quick attach hooks that you've got enough room behind it for that big thick hook. So what we did was we increased the thickness of this whole bar about three quarters of an inch and we cheated a little bit by moving this pin forwards as far as we could and still making it strong and that has your bushing in there for the quick attach now this does have the pins on it instead of the clevis style hitch but they're spaced at the correct dimension for your quick attach 26 and a half inches so between having the quick the, the quick stand here, easy you just bring it straight up, drop another pin in. You don't have to get on the tractor, lift it up, bring it around, turn it upside down. You can simply raise it up, put the pin back in. Uh, and this blade has been in production almost a year, maybe a little more. We've produced hundreds of them, and so far we have not had one single warranty issue. We have had a blade that was bent during shipping, looked like a forklift had run over it. It weighs 10,000 pounds, but besides that, we've had absolutely no warranty issues at all with this blade. It's been a really good one. We do use the Valk. Uh, American made cutting edges and that's a start to having a good rigid edge down there slow wearing American made and it's what we try to do here at everything attachments so along with making this a little bit wider to give us the distance we needed for that hook we did put a brace across the back of it welded in here just to secure everything uh, even better this is a three by five uh, tube we use, and as you can see, it's end capped, has a drain hole. <clears throat> when you've got a square like that, as it wants to skew, by putting that end cap in there, it really makes it rigid and strong, and that's what we try to do to almost all of our implements. We don't like to leave empty holes. If nothing else, bees nest, everything else gets in there, rust starts. We just try to give you a better implement. This is a six-way angle tilt blade, so we have seven different adjustment holes that will let you offset this complete blade. We've added the hook here, so for us and you, we're able to pick this up, put it on the pallet without scratching major parts of the blade. Same way if you want to move it around on the yard without having to hook it up, it makes a nice, nice piece to hook up. Um, on the mold board here, we've got two different bins giving you a little bit of a rolling effect. Everything is rounded so we don't have any sharp edges. That makes it a lot friendlier on your blue jeans and things as you go through the years. I've seen a lot of these blades, most of them because they're using drops, which are pieces of metal that just happen to be so long and they're going to have to throw them away in the scrap bin or something. Um, they will use two short pieces of the uh, u-shaped channel instead of one long one just because they've got them left over In everything attachments we never use drops unless the piece just happens to fit we'll never engineer a complete attachment around drops to make it cheaper so that piece is the complete length it comes completely through here as one piece and i think that has a lot to do to why we've not had any complaints about the the mow boards bending or anything because when you hit something in the snow, even though you horsepower and weight 
size this properly, when you're scraping snow at five or eight miles an hour and you hit a curb that you didn't know was there, you can do damage to almost anything. So far, we've been lucky. We've had no problems and everything's been good. Now, some of the things we've done to make this better than the average blade, by using this wider tube instead of a square tube, we're able to get a lot more surface area on this bottom pad because when it takes a hit, we don't want just the pin to take all of the hit. We want that whole surface plate to take the hit too. So this plate here, if you hit it forwards, this whole plate has area here, surface area, to take the hit while the pin just holds it tight. So everything is working together, the pin, all the surface area, and your bottom plate. Now we've taken this plate, we've looked at a few other blades, we've added some more holes to it to give you, because as this offsets over, the, it makes a drastic difference in the pinholes that you need back here to keep your blade angling the right way. And with the offset, with a medium-sized tractor, you're able to bring the blade completely over to the side, keep your snow or your dirt and debris over to one side while you keep your tractor on the cleared uh, ground or under, where you don't have snow or whatever it is you're doing. Now, if you're landscaping, you've also got holes back here and you've got um, five different adjustments I've seen blades with three but one of them is if you do it with three that means you only have one angle each way and so far all the ones I've seen are angled way too much if you only have one adjustment so we've added one in between there at 15 and 30 degrees so you're able to to do just about any job so this way when you offset it and angle it, you can clean a ditch out, make a ditch or something off to the side of the road where your tractor's not having to ride in the ditch. Uh, and we've also added a hardened bolt, which is an inch and a quarter, and put a lock nut up on here, where as things uh, wear and move around, you can always keep that tightened up. So you can see as, as this U-shaped channel we lengthened this out just a little bit so the head of this inch and a quarter bolt is right in here and that gave us room to run the channel all the way through making this mold board a whole lot stronger. So, so far for a value blade and, and looking at all the other blades, there's just so much in this blade that we've, we've looked at changing it but this is just the best blade on the market considering we've had no warranty issues no bent blades that we know of. It is just simply the best value on the market. So if you've got any questions about uh, size for your tractor, keep in mind when you angle your blade, you reduce the amount of cut. So you want to get a little wider blade than your tractor or usually what you would use for a box blade. Give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments and we'll be happy to help you with your purchase.